The Canberra VPP project is a collaboration between ACT Government, the local energy distribution owner-operator, Evo Energy, some really good solar installers, so Solar Hub and ActuAGL, Reposit Power as the technology platform provider, and obviously the consumers who purchase and install uh, distributed energy resources at their home. This power plant is setting a new benchmark for virtual power plants across Australia and the world. This is the first project where a virtual power plant has actually been used to dispatch greater than one megawatt of energy back into the grid. Now this is a really important milestone because what this means is that it unlocks the value of the virtual power plant not only on the retail side of things, so in the, the commercial markets that retailers operate in, but it also delivers tangible benefits to the networks. A virtual power plant or VPP is a group of small generators that are strung together to provide a service to an electricity network or electricity retailer. Now, the generators that we string together are customers that have solar and battery systems with Reposit on them. And Reposit is what allows us to actually string those systems together to provide the services as necessary. The benefit of having a VPP on top of just a, a standard battery is that it makes that battery um, much more important um, to retailers and, and grid operators. By that I mean there's value attached to it, so not just improving self-consumption in the household, but also by using that battery to support the grid in times of demand. Evo Energy really, really pleased to be involved with this virtual power plant in the ACT. Um, we're looking to solve a number of issues that are arising with um, recent um, trouble we've had on electricity grid with power shortages and we looked at it as a, a good way of responding to those and being proactive. The virtual power plant looking to trial those to see if we can actually solve some of the problems we currently have with intermittent supply. The results of the uh, Canberra VPP project demonstrated that there is more value that can be um, extracted from people's batteries when they're located on site, when there is a, a mix of technology, utility and distributed storage. We have to build a grid that's far more than we really need for some one or two key moments in a year when power demand really surges. Something like the virtual power plant can avoid that need to make those significant investments, provide more stability into the grid and deliver a significant social benefit which saves the whole community money. Working with Reposit was a relatively simple exercise. We were able to leverage their technology um, and enable our customers to be able to share the value of the stored energy in their battery and to do that they were rewarded financially. From an actual AGL perspective, we were able to demonstrate to our customers that through good partnerships and new technology that we were able to support their energy needs and show them a new way of using their energy. The virtual power plan has an opportunity to unlock um, value out of the customer's assets and Evo Energy are hoping to work with the customers to utilise the, the batteries that they've installed and use that to cover shortfalls in the electricity network. In terms of the, um, the viability of renewables, obviously the, the, the business case for those is getting much stronger with the use of energy storage. And Reposit really are the ones that are pulling all these you know, distributed batteries together so that they work in unison, just like a power plant. The Canberra VPP exercise was an important demonstration project to show that there, there's more opportunity in the energy system than I think people realise. And one of the considerations around this project for Actual AGL was showing that using distributed storage and aggregating that storage, that the, the power of many um, to help solve the problems around the grid and share value through the, the supply chain is certainly available and is going to only increase in the future. It's not just academic, this is being done in the real world, real customers are benefiting from it and it's also showing how we can make it better for our grid in the future and avoid the potential for having to make huge new investments in our grid and find other ways to ensure reliability of our power systems going forward. We have a really fantastic opportunity here to set best practice and use what we're doing with consumers and with the local distributor and retailers to guide the rest of industry and actually set the benchmarks which will go to formulating best practice in this industry moving forward.